rocket immunoelectrophoresis. This technique was discovered by Laurel in 1966. Principle of this technique is immunodiffusion and electrophoresis. Antigen and antibody move towards each other. It is immunodiffusion. When it reaches the equivalence point, they precipitate by forming antigen and antibody complex. To increase the rate of reaction, this complex is subjected to electric current. This is electrophoresis. Melt 1% of agarose with electrophoresis buffer. Add antibody in the gel when its temperature reduces. Wipe the gel plate with ethanol and cover the edges with tape. Pour the gel into the gel plate. Remove the tape carefully after the gel polymerizes. Make holes on the top of the gel using gel borer without damaging the gel. Pour the 1x electrophoresis buffer into the gel tank. Immerse the gel into the buffer. Load the antigens into the wells. Run the gel for 2 hours at 100 volts. Moisture chamber is kept ready by placing a wet cotton in a petri plate. After gel run, take the gel from the tank and place it in the moisture chamber and incubate the plate for overnight at room temperature. This is the result after incubation. From the observations, we can interpret that the presence of peak indicates that the presence of specific antigen to the antibody and the absence of peak indicates that there is no specific antigen. We can also detect the multispecificity of antigen or antibody by loading different antigens or antibodies on the well. The concentration is directly proportional to the height of the peak. When the height is more, the concentration is also more and vice versa. Applications This technique is used to detect myeloma, malignant lymphoma and used as a screening tool to differentiate serum proteins like albumins, globulins, fibrinogens, regulatory proteins and clotting factors. Some of the commercial kits available are Kit of Biora Life Science Expert Make it. These are some of the results obtained from commercial kits.